Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I have to slick up my hair into a high bun. I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready for my day. I'm going to my dad's to film a get ready with me for Vlogmas Day 4. And I want my hair to be perfectly slicked back, which I actually haven't done in a minute. I've been wearing it kind of messy and leaving the frizzies out to play. So I start by tying it up in a pony. I'm gonna go in with the Crown Affair gel. I love this stuff so much because it's not too strong of a hold, but it also just tames the flyaways. It doesn't leave any flakes or residue, and it also washes out so perfectly. And then I'm just gonna take this brush and smooth everything out. All of this will be linked on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in shopping the products or the brushes that I'm using because this is what I do every single time to achieve that perfect slick back look. And I take out the ponytails, re-comb and smooth everything out now that the gel and everything is in place. Re-tie everything up. The whole part of doing a slick back is trial and error for sure and it can definitely be super frustrating if you don't achieve it in the first go and your arms get super tired but I promise it's worth it and it gets easier every time you do it and then for the bun I just twist the ponytail round and round and round and round and then start spinning it like so and i stop once i have a little tail and then i take my ring finger to hold it down push it in and then twist the ponytail around like that and i kind of just leave these frillies up because i feel like if i don't do that then it looks like too much of a ballerina bun and that's not really the look i go for and then i use this r and co pomade stick to really tame the hairs behind my ears and anything that is stubborn and doesn't stay with the gel. This is also one of my favorite products for slick back looks and I use it pretty much every single time I do my hair. It has been my ride or die for about a year now and I love this. I have so many of them. There's one in pretty much every one of my pocketbooks and I always have it, especially if I'm leaving the house because you never know where you're gonna go, where the day is gonna lead you and when you might need this just to look a little more presentable and like your hair is done. You could even use it for blowouts to tame the top parts that maybe be a little frizzy or whatever so I'm just about ready I need to go through my makeup case and just make sure that all of the products I need for filming this get ready with me are in here because I also have a draw of makeup that obviously stays by my vanity so whatever I want to use for this look I need to make sure is in this makeup case so I can bring it with me so in here are all of my makeup brushes as well as in here because I just can't fit all of them in this case so they end up making their way into my makeup bag as well so I went through and I think all of this stuff is good to go but I also just want to go through these units and see what else I may want to bring like this eyeshadow palette I have a million different lip products and shades and I never know what to use or grab at so it's kind of like a wing it type of thing so let's head on out and I'll see you guys when I get there. So we just made it to the Range Rover Service Center and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because they just redid it and it's so beautiful and I don't know how long we're gonna have to wait for my car but it's ready so let's go.
parked at my car and she's looking beautiful as ever. I don't know if I told you guys, but there was a huge nail in my tire. So the whole tire needed to be replaced. My coolant level was low. My wipers weren't working too well. And before all of you say that Range Rovers cause a lot of problems, these are all normal car owner problems and things that happen when owning a car. But needless to say, she's all fixed and better than ever. I'm heading to my dad's now to beat this face. It's such a gloomy, rainy day here today and I'm kind of loving it. All of the leaves are like really falling right now and I swear like a week ago, all of the trees were filled with leaves and now they're all pretty much bare. It is 1.59 and I think it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to film and get ready. I just sat down before I film this get ready with me and I'm eating some sushi that I got from Whole Foods the other night. If you guys watched Vlogmas Day 1, then you would already have seen a little grocery haul and this was part of it. Like I said in that video, my mom and I love getting sushi like this because it's perfect for on the go and for days like today when I don't really have a lot of time to sit and have like an actual lunch, I feel like this is perfect to fuel my body without actually taking a lot of time. And as I eat, I'm watching Jordan's Vlogmas Day 1, which I'm so happy about. I kind of persuaded her to film vlogmas this year and it's just such a fun thing to do as much work as it is if you have the time and you know how to edit and you have a camera i feel like it's just the perfect opportunity to film and post every single day because this is the time of year that literally everyone myself included binge youtube videos before bed because everyone is in the holiday mood all the videos are so fun and festive and there's nothing like just getting cuddled up on the couch and putting on a vlogmas video and being a youtuber that you guys want to watch is so amazing and i love Love that you guys love my videos. I know that Jordan is capable of doing just that. So I'm so happy that she decided to do so and I'm loving her video so far. I wanna continue watching it and finish eating. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey you guys, so I just finished filming my little get ready with me and that will be Vlogmas day four. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe so that you guys can see how I achieved this look. I filmed the entire process start to finish. I shared with you all the products that I used and a little chit chat as well. So yeah, that's what I've been up to for the past hour. My lips look so big with this lip liner on. I haven't lined them in so long. I forgot how they look when they're lined. This is crazy. Uh, 9.50 at the top. I mean, really? Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to start editing Vlogmas Day 2 and we're heating up dinner from last night because there were a lot of leftovers. And this is my current look. I just got out of the shower and took a full body and hair shower. I haven't washed my hair in like a week. Ew. <laughs> Yucky, yuck. <laughs> my mom thinks it's gross every time I tell her that, but I swear it's not good to wash your hair every day. And I also have it up all day, every day, that I feel like it doesn't get dirty because it's not swinging around and touching things. So it'd be different if my hair was down for a week straight, then I would say gross. Man, so. What about mine? It's long. Yeah, your hair is really long, but you also don't put heat on it. No, I don't. I just. And you also don't touch it. You always have it up. I You're always pretty have it much up. like me. Yeah, it looks really good. Thanks. I have so much editing to do, but I really just want to watch the Kardashians season finale because it came out last night, I think. I need to get to editing so that I can get this video ready and upload it and sit my ass on the couch and watch some Kardashians. Here's dinner for the night. This is leftover Swiss chard from last night and it is literally amazing. I could eat this every single night. It's so yummy and filling, but also just like light and airy because obviously it's vegetables. So healthy. Yum, yum, yum. 